Here's a great question from Renee. Thanks for the question, Renee, and keep them coming in, my friends. Best way to control very unruly flyaways on the route after doing a beautiful blowout. Well, Renee, first of all, congratulations on your beautiful blowout. Now let's move it from good to great. Here's two suggestions I have for you, Renee. Look at these little flyaways that I have here. And I love doing this trick with Redken Shine Flash Zero Two. Think about this, we had a product called Vinyl Glam and we discontinued that. So I want you to think about Vinyl Glam now in a spray can. That's right, Vinyl Glam. Now this is awesome. I want you to take a little kabuki brush, a little powder brush, and you're actually gonna spray this little brush. Just give it a little shots of Shine Flash. Then I want you to come through with your comb, comb through that, and now use this to calm down those flyaways. And this is a great way to go in and also impart some shine. So see what I've done to this side as opposed to the opposite side. It's also really great for natural curly hair. Natural curly hair that tends to maybe from the humidity kind of uh, expand a little bit more. Teach the client to carry this in their purse, wrap it around their finger and just go through and just powder their natural curl. So think about it. That's how you go in and you can get these flyaways to lay down. And I love to do this in my photo shoots when I'm looking for a shape that's really sleek and smooth smooth and polished, this is a great trick to use. And remember, Redken Zero Two Shine Flash. Secondly, here's another way to do it. You're probably thinking, well, yeah, Sam, that's cool. That gets the flyaways down, but how can I get too close to the scalp? Number one, I want you to really slow down with your heat and your brushes when you're blow drying. Example being a powder brush. Work with a nozzle and start right at that base with that nozzle and work very slow. Let heat work for you. Slow down to speed up. Secondly, once you've completed your blow dryer, take your flat iron and you're going to come in with your flat iron. I want you to go with the fine teeth of the comb. And the idea is you want to go in and get this closer to the scalp. So you're going to go with the fine teeth of the comb, place it in. Just place it inside there. Now watch what I'm going to do with the iron. You have a hairdresser, hairdresser making tools for hairdressers because I know what we're doing with our tools today. So therefore I've left the casing outside of the plates, it gets warm and the edges get warm. Once you're here, take your iron and place it right down on that scalp. And now I'm not burning the client and I'm not gonna melt the comb. Now I'm gonna slowly start to move and I'm gonna stretch. You can start to see I'm just stretching and getting that nice and flat and smoother at the root, at the base. Once again, let me do it left-handed for you so you can really see this, okay? Come through, the comb goes in. Comb goes in, you see how it's captured it, and I'm using the fine teeth of the comb. By using the fine teeth of the comb, it's gonna stretch it, compresses it more. Here comes the heat. Now, I promise you, please, you're not burning the client. And do it to somebody and they'll say, that's pretty cool, and ask them, am I burning you? And they're gonna say no. Number two, go in and slowly slide. You'll feel you're getting tension and you're just stretching that. And that is another good way to go in and get these flyaways to sit really nice and close and help stretch out the curl. And then remember, I made these combs to take some heat. They are not going to melt. Hairdresser making tools for a hairdresser. Thanks for the question.